Hi, I'm Paul Brown, author of Total War, America's Roadmap to Victory. Today I'm going to talk to you about the nuclear deal between the United States and Iran. Basically what that entails is Iran uh, tentatively is agreeing to slow down their production of nuclear weapons and nuclear developments in return for the promise from the U.S. to lift sanctions related to their nuclear development. This is being heralded by a lot of different people as a you know, really great deal, better than nothing kind of thing. I actually disagree with that vehemently uh, for several reasons. First of all, this really only uh, kicks the can down the road. It passes the buck. It's going to be the problem for the next president or the president after that if it succeeds. That's if, if everything goes according to plan. That's the best case scenario. Um, I actually don't trust that Iran will stick to its side of the of the deal, and there are several reasons for that. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps and Operation Iraqi Freedom, and I know for a fact that Iran was instrumental in fighting us in that conflict. And um, they're they're responsible for the deaths of about 1,100 U.S. servicemen throughout the uh, conflict in Iraq. They're not our friends. They're not even frenemies. They're just enemies. The, so that's that's just their involvement there. They've been, to a lesser extent, limitedly um, involved in Afghanistan. Uh, they're also still the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism. They support and fund Hezbollah, Lebanese Hezbollah, uh, Kataib Hezbollah in Iraq, Asab al-Haq, um, and uh, Promise Day Brigade when it was still around. And of course, all that sprang from JAM special groups. They also funded and supported uh, Jaysh al-Mahdi, special groups that is. And uh, they also currently work with the 14 February Youth Coalition in Bahrain. are very active there. They, um, there. There's some limited connection between them and the Houthis in Yemen, though definitely not as much as in um, some other groups. They're connected with Hamas, uh, with the popular, popular, popular liberation... Uh, front um, of Palestine General Council and of course the Shia militias in Iraq right now although they're fighting ISIS have been instrumental in looting and killing in the aftermath of battles with uh, the Islamic State there is no reason for us to trust that Iran will stick to their side of the bargain they 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 are definitely our enemies they're definitely um, Israel, one of our closest allies in the region, they're their enemies. They're enemies with Saudi Arabia, even though I'm not necessarily saying I agree with a lot of the things Saudi Arabia does. Um, they're also one of our closer allies in the region compared to a lot of other actors. Um, furthermore, the Obama administration asserts that if Iran doesn't live up to its side of the deal, if they cheat on the deal that we'll be able to catch it really quickly and reinstitute sanctions. There are a couple reasons why I don't really get along with that assertion. First of all, I know for a fact that reporting um, is oftentimes biased by leadership. That's if leadership doesn't want a certain outcome in reporting, you're less likely to see it because it's understood, okay, don't report this, they, they don't want to hear it. Sometimes that's implicit, sometimes that sort of thing is stated explicitly. Uh, and, and when it comes down the pipeline, oh, it looks like they may be cheating on their side of the deal, you may get pushback from leadership saying, hey, don't report this, um, that would be an embarrassment because we made this deal and we don't want it to look like uh, we failed. Um, the other thing is even if reporting makes it up to that level, they could easily ignore it. You know, you, you have to understand, as soon as they make this deal, if the, Iran if the Iranians cheat, then that deal has failed. It looks really bad on the administration. Secondly, um, even if it sort of becomes public knowledge that they are cheating on their side of the deal, the administration can always make the claim, oh, well, there's not sufficient evidence that they are, and so, you know, we don't want to rush to judgment. And... Beyond that, let's say, okay, everyone accepts that they have, it may not be as easy as going, okay, sanctions are back on. You, you can say that, but it can take longer to institute them. And if they've been off for several weeks or months or you know years, at that point, the damage will have been done. Iran will have been able to acquire the extra resources 
uh, they they will have needed to speed up the process. A lot of people say, "What's the harm?" You know, um, right now we we don't want a war and we don't want Iran to to get nukes. So why not why not just make this deal with the hopes that it passes, um, even even if it doesn't work out, even if they cheat. Uh, I think that's bad for several reasons. For one, it shows us as weak. We're making concessions to someone who really is, to a large extent, an enemy of ours um, for for something that we shouldn't really expect them to deliver on. So beyond making us look weak, it also makes us look stupid. Uh, furthermore, the sanctions. You know, I'm I'm not a huge fan of. I, I'm not a big believer in sanctions having a really, really, really huge effect, generally speaking. However, they are affecting Iran. It, you know, the prices are really high for a whole lot of commodities and goods. It's really hurting their economy. One could debate about whether or not that's a good thing. However, it is at least somewhat effective. So, um, in conclusion, this is not a good deal. I'm shocked that so many people think it is. I'm shocked that so many experts are are lauding it as a good deal or trying to make the assertion that people against the deal are playing politics. I don't care who's in office. This is this is a bad deal, whether it's coming from Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians, Green Party, Independents, I don't care. Uh, so if you see this video and you you know, maybe learned something, please share it, like it, and uh, educate others you know on this and as always check out some of my other videos learn a little more about total war and start the conversation thanks